Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we've got a couple bits of news we need to be having a bit of a chat about regarding the Pokemon TCG. And I do think it's fair to say that these fit under the purview of weirder news. And we'll start off with an Oinkalone EX box. And this is weird because I don't understand why. Now, like, when it comes to Oinkalone EX, I got a bit of love for Oinkalone. I mean, firstly, Oinkalone's a pretty cool Pokemon, evolution of Lechonk, etc. Secondly, when I casted the a regional, no, special event, technically, over in Turin this season, I bought one random Italian pack of Scarlet and Violet. And in that one random pack of Italian Scarlet and Violet, I pulled Oinkalone EX. So I've got some love for Oinkalone EX. But I don't understand this Oinkalone box. It is your standard, ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill EX box. Which is to say you get yourself an EX and another hollow of some description. In this case, it is a Lechonk. And you get yourself a Jumbo. Although this alone has been a little bit weird. They seem to be... I, I thought they were going away from Jumbos. It seems to be that they have decided sometimes you get some um, Jumbos, sometimes you don't. And that's fine. So the Cyclozari Xbox, for instance, you did get a Jumbo. But there was only one promo because it was a basic. Whereas the Annihilate the Xbox, you didn't get a Jumbo. You just got two Hollow cards. But of course, that's a Stage 2. So you got the basic and you got the Stage 1 and that made sense. And then, of course, you know, if we have a look at Pokemon Card 151, we've got Zapdos and Alakazam getting the EX boxes. And Zapdos gets a Jumbo, but only one Hollow, because, of course, it's a Basic, whereas Alakazam is a Stage 2, so you get yourself two Hollows, the Basic and the Stage 1. So, whereas it looked a little bit like they were going away from just going for a Jumbo in every EX box, turns out what they're actually doing... And we, we've had a few now to kind of see the pattern. It seems like what they're doing is they're going, well, if it's a stage one or a basic, you can have a jumbo. But if it's a stage two, we're going to give you the basic and stage one as hollows. And you're not getting a jumbo. Cool. The thing about Oinkalone is, this is just the Oinkalone from Scarlet and Violet. It is the exact same card, at least as far as I can tell. If I've missed something, please do let me know in the comment section. But it's the same card, same number, same artwork, same everything. I can't see any differences whatsoever between Scarlet and Violet Oink alone and this. But it's it, there's still a bit more here. Because, of course, there is the Jumbo. And as far as I can remember, there's no other way to get a Jumbo Oink alone EX. And, of course, you've got Lechonk here. And this is going to be a Hollow, which is kind of cool. And it has got the lovely T-Zero artwork, so that's lovely. So I don't know, maybe that's enough. According to the back of the box, go hog wild with Oinkalone EX. Stomp out your opponent's finely tuned strategies with the help of a sweet smelling Pokemon EX. You'll find Oinkalone EX here as a deck ready foil card, along with a chunk so you can get both into play. An additional oversized card lets you show off this perfumed Pokemon EX whenever you please. And then it's got confirmation of the contents. A double rare foil card featuring on Colony X. A foil card featuring Lechonk. Told you it was going to be a foil. An oversized, four booster packs and a code card. So look, the Oink alone is exactly the same as it is in Scarlet and Violet. No arguments there. But you do get the Jumbo and you do get the Hollow Lechonk. So it's not completely a waste of time. I don't know if it's the most essential product we've ever seen. But it is actually a lot cooler than it could have been on the face of it. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is not the weirdest news that has come around this week. You see, it turns out when I go to Japan, I'm going to be buying a bunch of hair gel. Because it turns out there is a promotion going on with Nakano Styling Tanto X Pokemon card game. And there's an Okacheke card. That Okacheke Pikachu, which is one of the very, very best. Probably my personal favorite Pikachu they've ever done. But definitely one of the best Pikachu. I'm in love with this Pikachu card. 
Yeah, it turns out there's now a stamped version of it. And, and if you've been watching these videos for any length of time, there are two facts that you should know about me as a Pokemon fan. Okacheke is my favorite artist, and I love a good stamped card. So if you're giving me an Okacheke stamped card, I'm in, ladies and gentlemen. I am in. Although I do want to say, you know, if, if we're trying to be if we're trying to be fair and honest here, it's an ugly stamp. This is a really, really ugly stamp. It's the background. It's putting the background on it that makes it look so gosh darned ugly. Hey ho. But essentially, the deal here is that there are eight different types of styling product, each of which is being given Pokemon branding. So they've literally just gone for TCG energy symbols. No, they've not included fairy. And they've essentially assigned each one to a a, a type of well, a type of styling. And I leave in three weeks and I legit have like no idea which of these I need. Like, do, do I go for the fighting one just because I like fighting? Like, cards in the game? Is that dumb? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Uh, probably, to be honest with you. But it seems to be that when you buy one of these, you get yourself a random promo pack. And in your random promo pack, you get one of eight cards with a corresponding energy. And yes, the energy card is stamped. Hang on a second. I found a graph. I found a graph which I think explains which of the ones I actually need. I'm pretty sure these are the same as the ones in the Pokemon promotion. So here we go. Here is a graph that can help me decide which one of these eight different styling waxes or gels I actually need. Yay, go team. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what. Fighting looks about right. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks about right. But the point is, you can get yourself the promos. Now, I actually would love it. If you bought the yellow one and you got Pikachu and Lightning Energy, that would be really cool. That does not seem to be the case. It seems to be you get one random pack, which gives you one set, and it is set. It literally says set on the card. You get one set inside, and a set consists of a stamped Pokemon and a stamped Energy card. So... Which ones have we got? Now, for me, there's a really easy one here, okay? The easy one for me is we've got Pikachu with lightning energy. That is absolutely amazing. Love it. But there are a whole bunch of others, so let's have a look at the other cards available. So with Psychic Energy, you've got the Clefairy, and it is actually Yukimori Clefairy. It is extremely cool. With Metal, you've got yourself Meltan, which is very, very nice. For Darkness, you've got yourself Houndour. For Fire, you've got yourself... Oh, what's that little dude called? Charcadet. Sorry, I was drawing a complete blank for a second. There you get yourself Charcadet. I do actually love the Water one, which is your Froakie, which is absolutely lovely. And then you've got a lovely Riolu as well for fighting. And this is what's super awkward here, right? I don't need to go and buy a whole bunch of Styling Wax. And also, let's be clear, the biggest challenge for me and I think a lot of people coming back from Japan is going to be luggage. Both in terms of physically what you can fit into your suitcase and also, you know, the weight of your suitcase. So it's a little bit awkward, all right? However... I, I do want to buy a bunch of styling wax and get a bunch of these. Honestly, I'd like to get the whole set, if I'm honest with you. Uh, for me, obviously, Pikachu's the main one because it's Okacheke, which is annoying because that's going to be the one everybody wants. Uh, also, the, the Froakie I absolutely love and the Yukimori Clefairy is kind of cool, so probably that one as well. But they are being sold at a bunch of stores over in Japan. So, Welcher Holdings, Handsco, Big Camera Co, Pokemon Centers, that's going to be the easiest place for a lot of us. Uh, Yodabashi Camera, Loft Co, and of course, Amazon. So yes, you should be able to order these on Amazon Japan. I would love to pretend that I'm not going to go and buy a bunch of hair wax over in Japan just to go and get a bunch of these promos, but let's not kid ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I'm definitely going to. The real question is, how far I go to try and complete the set? I don't know. I'll figure that one out later. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good ups.
Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Chelsea Rose, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person indeed. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.